If you've ever watched a video with an AI generated voiceover, you'd admit that it sounded awfully strange. I bet you could immediately tell that it wasn't a human being speaking. Well, Soundstorm is changing all of that. You'd agree that one thing that makes AI voiceovers very detectable is that they do not apply the pauses, nuances, and voice expressions like we humans naturally do when speaking. Things like ah or oh, okay, are almost non-existent with AI voices. Even if the AI is programmed to say these things, they usually sound awful and robotic. But listen to this voice note and tell me if it sounds robotic to you. Did you hear about Google's paper on Soundstorm? Um, no, I must have missed it. What's, what's it about? Well, it's a parallel decoder for efficient audio generation. Uh, so it can even be used oh, yeah. to generate dialogues. Oh, interesting. That's a typical example of a voiceover generated by Google Sandstorm. Fascinating, right? You can clearly notice the perfect toning and tuning of the voice to match the expression being conveyed. It's just awesome. If you're not up to speed with recent AI technology, you'd probably think that this is a scam, or maybe it's a human talking, but it isn't. With the way that AI puts in the voice expression and expresses the pauses so perfectly, it's almost frightening. I mean, what if one day we start talking to an AI and we're completely fooled into believing it's a human? Well, this is one of the many risks associated with this software. Soundstorm can also generate conversations like two people conversing with each other. Check out this audio. Something really funny happened to me this morning. Oh, wow. What? Well, uh, I woke up, as usual, uh huh. Went downstairs to have uh, breakfast. Yeah. Started eating. And then uh, ten minutes later, I realized it was the middle of the night. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, that's so funny. Just so you know, Google has tons of demos, most of which they shared on their official research paper when they announced this AI. In the paper, they highlighted that the model could expertly synthesize dialogues. In other words, it can create high quality natural dialogues from scripts or short voice prompts. Here's how it reads on the official site. Soundstorm, coupled with the text to semantic modeling stage of Spear TTS, can synthesize high quality natural dialogues, allowing one to control the spoken context via transcripts, speaker voices via short voice prompts, and speaker turns via transcript annotations. Let's take a look at two more voice notes. What you're about to hear is the original voice note. Where did you go last summer? I went to Greece. It was amazing. Now, here's the synthesized version of that same voice note as created by Soundstorm. Where did you go last summer? I went to Greece. It was amazing. Oh, that's great. I've always wanted to go to Greece. What was your favorite part? Uh, it's hard to choose just one favorite part, but yeah, I really loved the food. The seafood was especially delicious. Yeah. And oh. the beaches were incredible. Uh -huh. We spent a lot of time swimming, uh, sunbathing, and, and exploring the islands. As you can hopefully see, there's almost no difference. Another interesting thing about this AI tool is the speed in which it generates content. Soundstorm can generate 30 seconds of audio in just 0.5 seconds. You'd agree that this is a step up compared to other conventional voiceover AI tools. Usually it takes at least a minute for these tools to create audio from a script. This is because the tool would first have to analyze and decipher the proper tone before creating a voice note. And even at that, it will still sound robotic, nothing like what we've just listened to with Soundstorm. It goes without saying that this tool will be a game changer for millions of content creators out there, especially considering that it will be made available for everybody to use, just like ChatGPT. Hiring voiceover artists can be quite expensive these days. One of the most popular AI voiceover generators out there is Eleven Labs. You've probably heard of this tool if you're a content creator yourself. Eleven Labs is a voice cloning and text-to-speech AI tool, just like Soundstorm. It is perhaps the closest thing to Soundstorm in terms of human-like or realistic voicing. This voice generator takes good notes of pauses and expressions, though it never completely eliminates the subtle robotic voice. Of course, it was inarguably the number one choice out there before Soundstorm, but now it looks like it will need an upgrade. Anyways, apart from realistic voicing, one other thing that made Eleven Labs very unique is its ability to mimic voices. Let's say that you have content written and you want to create a voiceover with Elon Musk's voice. This software can do that for you. All you'd have to do is upload a voice note with the voice you want to mimic, and this app would keep it and apply the same voice to any audio of your choice. It's just mind-blowing. But as I said, it couldn't eliminate the robotic tone. This is where Soundstorm steps in. Soundstorm can do exactly what Eleven Labs can, only better. 
Let's consider an example of a typical prompted voice. I stand before you not as an expert, but as a concerned citizen. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday. And the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. If you compared prompted audio from Eleven Labs with one from Soundstorm, you'd see the robotic tone is slightly harder to notice in the Soundstorm version. However, a really smart and attentive person could still tell that there's something off, even with the Soundstorm audio. I'm not sure how to describe it, but from the audio samples we've shared so far, you can agree that there's still something these AI voices are lacking. It's like the voices don't have life in them, like our human voices do. It could also come in handy when you have voice issues, like a cough, or when you simply want to mimic a celebrity that you admire. Now that we've seen just how mesmerizing and useful this tool is, let's talk about the possible dangers with this application. You see, in a remote conversation, this tool could fool you into thinking that you're talking to a human. A typical example would be during a phone call. If someone used Soundstorm, for instance, to order a new iPhone, the clerk wouldn't even notice. I mean, who would? But here's the thing, it gets worse when you consider the voice prompting or mimicking aspect. An AI like this could be used to fake a person's voice over the phone and deceive others. Or even worse, it could be used to perform scams and fraudulent practices. Recently, some sad stories have been popping up of people getting distress calls from their loved ones on the phone, only to discover later that it was a scam. For instance, this article talks about a man who was scammed of 4.3 million Chinese yuan in May 2023. It reads, A scammer in China used AI to pose as a businessman's trusted friend and convinced him to hand over millions of yuan. Authorities have said the victim surnamed Gu received a video call last month from a person who looked and sounded like a close friend. But the caller was actually a con artist using smart AI technology to change their face and voice. Many people are falling for scams like these every day and it's a pretty new method and it will only get worse when these AI tools improve. More so, advanced AI like these would pretty much bypass audio recognition security software easily. If, for instance, you had a voice activated safe, a professional thief could simply use an app like Soundstorm to clone your voice and use it to open your safe. Just in case you doubt if this would work, here's a newsflash for you from The Guardian. It reads, AI can fool voice recognition used to verify identity by Centrelink and Australian tax office. When we consider the darker possibilities of this tool, a sense of fear emerges. It is unsettling to contemplate a future where individuals hesitate to answer phone calls due to the uncertainty surrounding the identity or the nature of the caller. The ramifications of such a scenario are unpredictable, raising valid concerns about the misuse of this technology. Watch these videos as well. Hit that subscribe button, like, and drop a comment to let us know your thoughts.